Now here we are down in the paint department, and I know you're having flashback nightmares of painting boats. We're not painting this boat, right? Like we used to do. <laughs> no, actually, we're gonna be wrapping this boat. Well, why is it in the paint department then, Dale? Well, I'll tell you why. <laughs> I'm so glad I asked that. All right, well, that. this boat is a little bit different. So this is a crazy customer of ours we've known for 30 years. Bill. His name is Bill Park, and we have a, a very deep history with him because he's the guy that started us painting offshore race boats. He was the first boat we ever painted, convinced us to get into the business, and wow, it was a really tough business. <laughs> but it allowed us to invent boat wraps. Yeah. We were the first people on the planet to wrap a boat because we were sitting here painting these giant offshore race boats in the building. They were eight to 10 weeks wow. up in here, just straight labor, wet sand and buffing, and it was just such a pain. Mm -hmm. And we're wrapping these vehicles right next to them. So we said, man, we can wrap this boat. 3M didn't believe it, oh, none of the guys believed it, and we wrapped the very first boat on the planet. As a matter of fact, 3M has a two-year marine wrap warranty that we helped them mm -hmm. write because we have so much experience with boat wraps. Yeah, I remember they sent that crew, they were filming it, they had three guys with white lab coats on watching everything we did to wrap that boat. Yep, exactly. And now, boat wraps is just, I don't know, a billion dollar a yeah. year business. I don't know, it's pretty crazy. All we over. wrap all those bass boats for advertising, you know, with the tournaments and whatnot. Sometimes a Viking boat. A Viking <laughs> boat? Yeah, exactly. We got our buddy Trey out there. Okay, so this is a 35 foot Donzi ZF. Really high end boat, it's beautiful. Bill Parks had it for some years now and this I think is the third time we've wrapped it okay yeah. now he brings it back here because that dude saw the episode when we wrapped that Corvette in blue chrome mm -hmm. Avery blue chrome the most expensive vinyl on the planet right remember we told how much he, the vinyl was for the car I right. can't imagine what it's gonna cost for this boat I don't know I think there's about five thousand dollars worth of vinyl in this boat before we touch it but anyway, it's gonna be great. We're gonna wrap what we believe might be the first chrome boat ever because uh, we have looked and researched and we have never seen a chrome boat wrap. So we're excited about that. And you guys are gonna love it because we're doing a full episode on it. Stay tuned. So this is the very first wrap that we did for Bill Parks uh, on his Nortec. This one was actually entered in a Signs of the Time wrap competition and won first place for a boat wrap. Really neat design. We went all out kind of almost the 80s revival, you know, bringing back that super bright colors, but we went with the tribal pattern, very racy, very, very cool with the hexagon pattern in the background. It was a neat design and it got a lot of attention. This Donzi though, that we're wrapping with the chrome, we've wrapped twice before. You can see the original design there. Uh, I didn't even find a picture of that one. That one's so old. And then this is how it looked until just recently. When the boat showed up here, we removed this wrap. You know, this new design with the blue chrome is really taking this whole thing a step further. I don't think anybody's ever done this before. And I think he saw our episode with the Corvette and fell in love with the blue chrome, asked if we could do a boat. Uh, we said we'd give it a shot. So with this new design, we're keeping the, the Donzi logo, the ZF on the side. It's a, a nice brand name boat. That's, that's something you want to show off is that you got your Donzi. But you can see this design, we're taking it a whole step further. Everything's matte black and chrome, so there's a lot of contrast. Really excited to see how this one turns out. So Rick, we got this boat down in the paint department because that chrome is like a mirror, right? Mm -hmm. Even if it's blue, it's gonna be a mirror and everything on this gel coat will show if it's oh, not yeah. as smooth as can be. So there was some gouges and some nicks in this boat. We filled it, we body worked it, we sand all the old stripes off. Something that you wouldn't really necessarily have to worry about if it was a regular vinyl wrap. But since this is going that mirrored chrome blue, it's gotta be perfectly smooth as much as we can. Oh, and even the dust, we like clean it and clean it and clean it. A little piece of dust under there, you'll see. Exactly. Yeah. And the guys are gonna wrap this entire boat, most of it. Some of this is gonna be black for the design, but most of this boat gets wrapped in one piece of blue chrome. So that one piece of blue chrome is approximately $1,800 worth of our cost yeah. of just the vinyl. So those guys, this place has gotta be sparkling clean. It's gotta be calm, air conditioning running. No <laughs> mistakes on that, because they mess up $1,800 with a wrap, uh, you're not gonna be happy. Chrome doesn't like to stay into deep body lines like these here. So what we've done is we've designed around that. We're gonna use 3M 2080 matte black on the back half of this boat and then use that to kind of transition into the chrome. Uh, that matte black will conform around these deep curves and stay into these body lines much better than the chrome will. Uh, so we're not only doing a, a pretty wrap, but a functional one too that's gonna stay on the boat and not come undone.
So uh, Dale mentioned the cost involved with doing this boat wrap. Uh, this is the blue chrome that we're going to put on the boat. It's a very expensive vinyl, uh, but it's worth the price. It's very cool looking. Uh, the biggest concern is putting this one giant piece on. It's a couple thousand dollars for just one piece of vinyl to cover the side of the boat. So if we screw it up, we're costing ourselves thousands of dollars with one panel. It's not as conformable as our normal material, but it's not bad to work with. This is the same material that we use to wrap the Corvette with. The difference here is that we're putting one big giant piece on the boat. A lot can go wrong with one giant piece. With the Corvette, we were going panel for panel, small pieces, easy to work with. This time, we've got to pull out a almost 30 foot long piece and stick it to the side of the boat without damaging it, without wrinkling it, without getting any dirt in it. It's a lot to try and pull off. When they're applying this, they'll apply heat to it. They have that big heat heater that will warm up the vinyl and let them work with it easily. It makes the vinyl a little bit more pliable, makes it easier to conform around corners. Uh, most of the side of this boat is flat, uh, but it does help with the adhesive, activates all the adhesives, makes sure everything sticks and stays. According to 3M, it releases the molecular structure of it so that it's formable, and then as it cools, it hardens into that shape. One of the big question marks here is, is how the chrome vinyl will perform in the water. I don't know that anybody's ever really done it before. I've never seen a chrome boat wrap. We have some methods that we use for normal uh, boat wraps. We're gonna seal up the edge. We're gonna come up a quarter inch from the chine so that the water pressure doesn't peel the wrap off. And then we're gonna apply a edge sealer to the edge of the 3M 8520 edge sealer. It should keep everything in place, but uh, again, we've never done it. So fingers crossed. <laughs> All right, so we got the blue chrome on the boat. It looks really amazing, uh, better than we thought. It's, it's fantastic. It's really a mind blower. I can't wait to see this thing out in the sun. Can't wait to see it on the water. But now it's time to put the finishing touches on. This is the second surface Donzi ZF logo that we're putting over the top of the chrome. This is printed silver IJ180MC-114 metallic 180C that has been printed with a black logo and highlights and lowlights and bevels. And then we put the matte lamination on it. So it's matte silver. It's gonna look really cool and you'll get to see just how much that matte silver contrasts with the chrome. It's gonna look really neat. There are other aspects too. We always like to wrap the console and it's real curvy as well. Uh, so we're gonna mix and match matte black and blue chrome and wrap as much as we can with the blue chrome because that's the featured color, but we're gonna use that matte black to set it off. One of the things that makes this boat wrap look really custom that we don't normally do is the motor wrap. We're gonna take the old Suzuki logos off. We're gonna replace them with our own that match the wrap and it's gonna be a nice accent to the, to the wrap. It's gonna really set it off. Man, y'all, can you believe how crazy this thing came out? Man, this blue chrome is ridiculous. We have never seen, we've Googled, we've searched, we have never seen a chrome wrapped boat. So this is a one of a kind here. What's really cool is this Avery blue chrome is our base coat. And then back over here, we've got 3M silver metallic 2080 that we put through the printer, printed the black and little fade marks on it to give it a little dimension. And then we laminated it in matte clear 3M. So this thing is a complete contrast between this crazy shiny chrome and then this matte clear over top of this. And you got this contrast between this dead matte graphic and this crazy shiny blue mirror. Man, look at, I, could, I need to put some of this up in my office, man. That's great. Like it's reflecting onto the concrete. It's like the Aurora Borealis. What? Look at this. That's that's nothing but shine right there. It's so crazy. 